because I will break his. Welcome everyone to Pastrana Land for another exciting chapter here in the Nitro Circus Pit Bike Saga. We're here at Davidsville, Maryland for the 2022 Pastrana Land Pit Bike Championship. Welcome everyone, I'm Jimmy Coleman alongside Trevor Piranha and well, we get to call the action all over again and what a better place to do it than right here in Travis's backyard. That's right, Jimmy, we got a huge weekend on tap here at Pastrana Land. We got the Viper Pit, we got a step up competition, we got the best trick jam and we got everyone's favorite pit bike race, Hubercross. Now we had a lot going on and some big highlights from last season. You had RC cars that were flying through the air. We actually had a race that actually went through Travis's garage at one point. You got the Viper Pit and well, that one took a real big bite out of Dusty Weigel last year. And then you had Stank Dog. He was out there running neck and neck with the Sipes brothers and he actually rode those guys out for that overall title. So what kind of madness can we expect to see this year? Well, Hubert Roland has created a new track this year, complete with an enduro section, and he even had the original Nitro Circus loop shipped out. And let's just say that loop's a lot bigger than any of us remember. Well, speaking of new, there's rumors of a new over-under jump on the uh, Viper Pit Pit Viper course right there. We're adding step up into the mix. That's something we've never done before in the history of the Pit Bike Championship. And then, of course, you've got Freestyle Best Trick. Now, that one's always a bit of a loose cannon, and it opens it up for a little bit of carnage. So some heroes are going to be made this weekend, and possibly some tense moments for our uh, medical staff. Well, Jimmy, it sounds like another average weekend out here at Pastrana Land, and I'll tell you, there's no place I'd rather be. Well, we have Ryan Sipes returning out here this weekend. Now, he was a runner-up in the overall points tally last year. However, he's got a new title this year. Due to injury, he's actually the competition director, and he's with JT right now. JT, take it away. I'm up here with our lead judge, Ryan Sipes. Ryan, are you happy to be judging, or would you rather be riding? A little bit of both. It does look kind of scary, and the speeds are going now. Yeah, it's getting sketchy, but uh, I'm looking forward to all of it. All of it's fun, and it's it's cool that we get to do all this different stuff. It's not we're just doing a motocross race, or we're just doing, we're doing everything. Yeah, and we've got riders from all different walks of, of, of riding. You've got trials bike riders, you've got freestyle motocross guys. Like, yeah, I know. So we got professional gamblers, we got women racers, we got everybody. This is awesome. <laughs> Well, thanks, guys. Joining us right now is a man who needs no introduction. He's also hosting this event. It's Travis Pastrana. Now, Travis, last year you missed out on the Pit Bike Championship due to injury, and rumor has it that is the case again here in 2022. Well, I broke my back earlier this year, and quite frankly, I'm just scared. Every time that I come here and Hubert has a chance to go out and make basically the rad hell track of pit bikes, I don't want to be part of it. So I'm really happy to be announcing with you guys. Well, we've teased some of the new additions. Now let's talk about some of the teams. We've got some faces returning, some pit bike veterans, if you will, but we've also got some fresh faces in the mix, Travis. Well, Team A-Shock, that's the one to be looking for. You got Joe Dirt teaming with Dusty Weigel. You have probably the best pit bike rider on the face of the earth, the fastest guy, teaming with the explosive Dusty Weigel, who is always up for shenanigans that no one else is willing to do. This is gonna be a team to beat. Team Power Plus, absolute powerhouse team, who sipes, Jack Rogers. Jack Rogers is a fairly unknown coming into this event. New face, but I tell you what, one of the locals around here is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, Greg Duffy, prodigy. He is looking forward to going out, winning some races, turning some heads. And Pooh Sipes, he's won almost everything. He's looking for that overall championship. The next team, Team Black Rifle with Smalls and Smagical. These are two of my favorite human beings. It's gonna be trials and error out there as these guys both come from more technical background, but they're not afraid to send it. I would expect to see Hubert Cross one, two, if these guys can put it together through the mud. Team Smirnoff Ice Smash with Cassie Boone and Corey Steed. Corey coming straight off her first win in GNCC. Middle of the season coming out here. She has a point to prove that she can take it over the guys. And I tell you what, Cassie Boone, one of the best freestylers, male or female, in the world. These two are going to be absolutely awesome to watch. Very exciting, and they're not afraid. Team Twisted T, Pit Viper. I, if I had a favorite coming into this event, it's got to be those guys. I mean, you have the Twisted Viper Pit 
which is basically Viper Fit 2.0. These are sponsors that know what they're looking for. They've been around Pastrana Land and they are expecting a win. They got Stank Dog, who has not lost one single event here at Pastrana Land, and they got Banksy, who is absolutely hungry for a win. It's gonna be one heck of a show with these guys. Team Cardo Systems, these guys are providing racer to racer communication. There's gonna be a lot of comedy, a lot of crap talk, and a lot of good results coming from Cody Cam and Wade Velishka. Cody Cam, one of the best snowmobilers. Wade Velishka, always a powerhouse player. This is gonna be a lot of fun to watch these guys and see how they end up. Team Plyer Bowl, not only supplying the delicious nutrition and the acai bowls, but Frankie and Mickey, they are here to win. Frankie, I think he's one of those new kids that's gonna be a little bit underestimated from the rest of the riders. He is here to win. He is here to put his stamp on Pastrana Land. And Mickey, well, He's gambling, it's gonna be a good week for him. Some great teams out here ready to battle. First up is the infamous Viper Pit, freshly rebuilt with a vicious over-under jump. Only Travis Pastrana himself could look at the Viper Pit and think, hey, this needs more danger. Hey, danger is what the people want, and that is possibly what is on tap, and it's coming your way. We're gonna take a quick break, then we're coming right back here to Pastrana Land for the Pit Bike Championships 2022. Oh, 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 no. Welcome back everyone to the 2022 Pastrana Land Pit Bike Championship. We're about to kick things off with an event that we call the Pit Viper Viper Pit. Now Piranha, explain to the people exactly what that is and how that thing's evolved over the last two years. Well, this is a creation out of the mind of Travis Pastrana and it started out as your typical figure eight death track with the impending impact in the middle in the crossover section. We took it out this year. We made it a little more safe, but a little more sketchy at the same time. Uh, Nate West actually helped kind of uh, engineer this, but they added an over under jump in. So as you can imagine, it kind of makes it a little bit safer because you avoid the head to head impact, but it makes it a little sketchy at the same time because now coming out of one of the berms, they have to clear a six foot jump. So it's a little bit of a catch 22. It's safer, yet a little sketchier. We'll have to find out more about about that right now we're going to send it down to JT and Travis who are going to call the action pit side but first they've got to draw spoons right now and we're going to find out who's playing big spoon and who's playing little spoon boys take it away well I'm here in the center of the Viper pit with Travis Pastrana are we drawing spoons what's going on we're about to draw spoons to see who goes out there first in the team race but after that it's gonna get ugly and the top four are in for a treat hey we can count on you to add some flavor to any type of competition even when you build the thing. Well, especially when I'm not out there riding. This is gonna be great. Okay, here we go. It's, it's the A-Shot crew in the mix. They get five laps here. Time starts when the first rider hits the jump. Time stops when the last rider goes over the lip for the whoa, fifth whoa, time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dusty almost crashed everywhere, trying to keep up with his teammate, doing the best he can for A-Shot, but I tell you what, Joe Dirt is ripping around there. I think Dusty might be the first one to go down. All right, you guys were first up in there. There was, there was some casing going on. It was it, making a lot of us worry. It's, it's a little different when you're actually trying to go fast. Riding around in the Viper Pit this year, fun. Racing it, very different experience. Team Smirnoff Ice Smash, you got Corey Steed, Cassie Boone. Check out the grouping here to start it off. A little bit better grouping, not quite the pace we saw out of the first team. Oh, that was awesome. That was very, very impressive. One of the scariest courses in the world, and these girls just absolutely crushed it. Well, I'm shaking, my heart's going, and that was great. That was awesome. I tried to stick on Corey's back tire there. Felt the back end slide out a couple times. But man, that's so fun. All right, here we go. Team Power Plus, Pooh Sipes, and uh, local guy Rogers. Now, look, they're going a lot higher uh, coming into that jump than anyone else, giving them a lower trajectory. It's almost like a scrub. They're the only ones not dragging foot pegs. And I tell you what, Rogers is catching Pooh Sipes. Pooh, time's just coming in. This puts you in the top spot. That was a solid run. Uh, yeah, that's sketchy. Like. In practice, I didn't do any past laps, and when you're up to speed, like, you get disoriented. All right, here we go with the Twisted T Pit Viper team. You got Banksy and Stank Dog. That's a solid team there, Jimmy. Solid. They are ripping. All right, so coming up next, we got Team Pliable. That was like watching Mad Mike Jones X Games 99. Absolutely <laughs> unbelievable. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Pliable. Mickey. You guys didn't put it up on the time, but you did put it up on the most entertaining team out there on the Viper Pit so far. Yeah, uh, I tried a new helmet today. I hit it down right away and I couldn't see. And there's no chance to like push my helmet up. So you were, you were in the Viper Pit blind for five laps. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, we have Cardo. Now, luckily these guys will be able to talk to each other. I don't think they're gonna be saying anything before letter expletives. Oh, you gotta go faster, son. I'm dizzy. 
Yeah, Trav, put yourself in their positions. What would you have to say to your teammate in a situation like that? I would probably be the second teammate yelling, slow down, you're making me look bad. So the last group for the teams out here, you got the Black Rifle Coffee Company crew. Black Rifle, if you're not first, you're last. However, Smagical and Smalls, the trials team, trying to put it on the rail right there. I've never seen a wall ride quite that impressive and still made it back into the Viper Pit. Uh, unfortunately, sitting seventh place after six riders. All right, here we go. The first of the individuals up. A little bit of a bobble there by Corey Steve. He goes down on the first uh, timed lap corner there. Dude, it's slippery. <laughs> she regains nicely and. Uh, oh, 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 my goodness. Oh, oh no. You are the first real casualty of the Viper Pit going off on the jump. <laughs> Yeah, dude, it was freaking slippery out there. I got a little too uh, laid over in the corner. And that hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Magical and Team Black Rifle Coffee. Now, Smagical is a little out of his element here. He is more of a trials rider. This is like the Kevin Windham special, railing the berms, so sketchy. So the Black Rifle Coffee Company boys in the books there. Smagical checks in with a 13.41, but it was Smalls that comes out the better of the two with that team with a 12.1 time right there as we get set to bring in the pliable team here for the individual laps. Troy Smalls on the singles, 12.1 seconds. You think you're gonna be competitive here? I don't know, so far I think I'm faster than Stank Dog, and I think that's all that matters to me, really. <laughs> Frankie Latiri, one of the faster riders on that team Pliables thing, he uh, really put it together out there right now. Oh, goes down oh, in the Your corner. time is still going! Right as you say going. that. Oh. Here we go, Team Cardo coming in. Oh, no, he's going oh, too, fast. too fast, too fast, too fast, too I'll fast, too fast, too fast, too fast. Oh, oh, nice! You can only do so many laps. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, you're gonna vomit. You said that you were just gonna pin it, and you did exactly that. Uh, yeah, pin it to win it, I guess. Travis <laughs> came down here and and gave you a hail after seeing this performance right here. That's gotta feel good. Oh, oh yeah, that's awesome. Travis complimenting me. That don't happen to many people in the world, I don't think. <laughs> One of the faster riders in the team event. We'll see if he can really hold it together oh, out there. That's oh, a sketchy corner. Out. He's sending it. Joe Dirt. 11.59, you're now in first place. That was a solid run. Uh, that was completely not to the plan, but um, <laughs> we're up there. We'll do what we can with it. <laughs> oh, I think you're, you're, you're now the one to beat, and it's going to be hard. Let's roll. Stank Dog in the house, ladies and gentlemen. You need to get under 12 seconds to be one of the top three. He, uh, definitely under 12. 11.47. Stank Dog knocking Troy Smalls off the podium, taking first place after he called you out. Well, this is the Viper Pit. This is Team Pit Viper. <laughs> Troy Smalls. <laughs> here we go. After seeing his uh, teammate get the top spot, oh, he's really got to so send fast. it here. This is so fast. This is too yeah, fast. Squirrely. This is too fast. This is too fast. No, he's got it. Here we go. The final turn over the jump. I have yeah, never seen is. that. That is amazing. Wow. Stop. Almost taking Tommy out as well. Oh, Neil Flicker. Yeah. If that wasn't first place, I'm going to go home. You live here. Stank Dog coming out and sending it, rolling into first. You go right after him and then take his position. You two, one and two. What's going on here? Yeah, we had some mathematicians back there counting some numbers, and we are uh, trying to remove some strokes, working on it. Take it out back and show us some more. Oh, I can't wait to see you guys on the next event. This is going to get good. So Banksy and Stank Dog top the individual standings here at the Viper Pit. After the team event, it's Twisted T Pit Viper taking that early lead, followed closely by A-Shock, Power Plus, and Cardo Systems. Coming up, we've got our next event making its debut here at the Pit Bike Championship. It is Step Up. Don't even think about changing that channel. The Pastrana Land Pit Bike Championship is sponsored by A-Shock, a modern performance energy drink created for today's active generation. Power Plus, power, when you need it, where you need it. And by Smirnoff Ice Smash, no filter, full flavor. Please drink responsibly.
Welcome back everyone to the 2022 Pastrana Land Pit Bike Championships. Piranha, we've got one event in the books and as I said before the break, this next one never been featured here at the Pit Bike Championships. We've got the Step Up competition coming up next. Yeah, absolutely. Step Up's a huge fan favorite at X Games. It's uh, your basic height competition. Who can go the highest? There's going to be a bar. You go over the bar, you advance the next round, you hit the bar or knock it down in any way. Everyone laughs at you and you're disqualified. You see it done a lot on the full-size bikes. We've never seen it done on the pit bikes before. We send it down once again to Travis Pastrana and JT. As if you haven't had enough world's first at Pastrana Land, we now have the world's first pit bike step up high jump. It's awesome. There's a huge pond off to the right. We've already lost two motorcycles in that. A lot of big crashes coming out of yesterday. Amazingly, everyone's back on their bikes, and this is going to be one heck of an event. I'm really excited for this event. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward, but I think they're going to really start maxing out what these bikes are capable of. Here we go. Second round up to four foot, and no problem for Pliable. Corey, Steve, first attempt. Oh! Ow! Here we go, Cassie Boone. Up and over, no problem. Does she ride out of it? Yes, she does. This just in, Travis Pastrana stepping in for Corey Steed, and he's actually wearing a cape. Let's see if he can fly. Travis. Yeah! No way. <laughs> Didn't ride it out. He didn't ride it out. Don't count. I was just trying to make sure I got over the, I don't know, I messed it all up. But I was still on the bike. They disqualified me. I didn't fall off. I just kind of rode it to a stop. Would you have allowed yourself to keep going? No. OK, fair enough. Really small is up and easy over the bar. No problem. I think he's got a lot left in the tank as these bars start to get uh, elevated the next couple rounds. Banksy. Banksy boosting up and over. Ooh. Lands a little front end heavy, but rides out of it. Yeah, we're not uh, going to any standard measurements here. We went from six inches to four feet to five feet. Now we're up uh, pushing over seven feet. And again, it's a little deceiving because I think you could easily fit two people in there between the bag and the uh, the rope. So I think we're, we're realistically pushing over seven feet, but numbers have never been our strong point here at Pastrana Land. I am a big fan of Step Up now. This has been, the last four jumps have been absolutely awesome. We just had to crank that bar up a little bit higher. Yeah, let's keep raising it. We're really getting into the part of the competition where they had to start manipulating the bike in the air to get over. All right, so stank dog. up and over, sucking the bike up in the air. All right, here we go. Uh, oh, this is ridiculous. Uh, Banksy just Banksy. absolutely. There's, they probably cleared it by like eight feet. Yeah, I don't think anyone's going to touch Banksy unless he crashes. Again, Jimmy, they're dropping straight down to that bag. So really, it's just a feat of strength. Can you hold on to the bike or not hold on to the bike? Oh, man. Oh! Oh, oh you're good. He's smoking. <laughs> He's in the pond again. <laughs> this is hilarious, by the way. Cardo Systems, thank you guys so much. Uh, it doesn't, you guys will hear what this is going, but this is, this is hilarious. All right, you try. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! As we take a look at Joe Dirt here, first attempt here, 15 feet. Easy up and over, but a little sideways. Oh, he rides out of that. This is getting sketchy, but you just <laughs> nailed it. Yeah, dude, this is getting so tall, but uh, yeah, I just can't wait to see what everybody else does. Hopefully we get close to the top. That'd be awesome. And he's going wow. up and good. over. Boo nailed that. No problem. They're going to go ahead and let Troy Smalls go. Here we go, up and over the 16-foot mark. No problem. Troy, this is getting wild. I'm pumped, I'm scared, I'm so pumped. I don't know how I just did that. Are you, are, are you just gonna force Stank Dog into submission? Oh, man! But he just hit that one like like it wasn't even a thing. Like, like, like uh, he's just wondering where you're at. I said, where's Troy Smalls? As long as I'm in front of him, I don't care. Here we go, track crew made a small adjustment to the distance on the poles because of Banksy's height up and over. No oh problem, my. absolutely from space. Oh! That's a make, Parada. That is a yeah. make. So again, everybody competing now for individual points as well as those team points. Can't Joe Dirt hang on to no, he's gonna clip both wheels, and that is gonna do it for the A Shock crew here. We'll see if Troy Smalls has any more in the tank as he gives himself a little push start. Well, you know, self-preservation is the name of the game. Oh, and no, no, that doesn't was... get it. All right, Frankie Letary started with a little bit of extra approach. Transfers in a little more oomph. 
everybody else thinks. Oh, oh, oh look at Fifi Six in the back row. He thinks he rides out. Oh, dearie. What? Team Fireballs showing that they came to party. I'll be honest with you guys. I'll be honest. I'm happy with third. <laughs> Frankie saving himself for best trick, taking third, taking the points. That's a smart move if you ask me. Stank Dog taking the long approach after he just saw the success Frankie Letiri had with it. This man, he landed fine. He got a little bit of a wheelie, he slid it off the side, and without ever letting go, he landed, wheels up on the side, still on the motorcycle, and then rode out from that point. I'd give it to him, that's an impressive height. I'd call that a make. You're good, Stank's moving on! Thanks to going back for the long approach. He's relatively had no problem out here this oh, afternoon. Man. Oh, and the heel clicker, clicker. no, and how in the heck did he hang on to that? Really, but, just sealing the deal, tricking over the high bar. Just playing with everybody at this point right here, trying to make his case here for the Twisted T Pit Viper team. No one else has cleared that height, he just heel clickered it. As far as I can tell, Everyone just surrendered. <laughs> One of the only guys getting all the way back, starting with the double to get speed, and then going into the high jump. Oh yeah, now it's just trying to get as high as we can, but uh, oh, we're all out here for fun, but we're going for Team Pit Viper and Twisted T, and we're gonna take her home. And you guys have been just putting up the points. Congratulations, you did great on that event. Awesome, man. Back over to you, Jimmy. So Step Up is in the books, and we are now officially at the halfway point here at the 2022 Pastrana Land Pit Bike Championships. Let's take a look at our current standings, but don't you dare go anywhere. We've got two more events still to come when we come back to Davidsonville, Maryland. Welcome back, everyone, to the 2022 Pastrana Land Pit Bike Championships. As I mentioned before, we're at the halfway point and coming up next, Piranha, we got one of my favorite events. It is Freestyle Best Trick. Now, this one was a bit of a wild card last year. Absolutely, Jimmy. I wouldn't even call it Freestyle Best Trick. Really, it's the Travis Pastrana Impress Me competition where the riders really have to try to get in the mind of Travis Pastrana and figure out what they can do to really impress him to get the maximum points here in this next event. Now, in theory, Travis is supposed to give a score, but then you have Ryan Sipes now, who's the competition director, and these guys have varying opinions on this. And for more on that right now, let's send it to JT. All right, we're about to go into Best Trick powered by Power Plus. Oh, Last year, Stank Dog with the 360 and Duffy doing a Captain Morgan. Yeah. What do you expect? Absolutely amazing. Uh, this year, the ramps are way bigger. They're carrying way more speed. Uh, we did add a little bit of an airbag, a little cushion uh, to hopefully help the suspension on these kids' bikes withstand the, you know, 40-foot drops going to be taken. Well, during practice, they were going huge, so I am stoked for this. Here we go. I did not expect to see the body burial attempt coming out here, Travis. First time I tried that, I was 14. I got that far to dirt. I've never gotten further. You can't get back. If he tries to get back on, I'll give him a 9.5. This is Dusty Weigel. Tapped out of most of this, had a proxy rider, and he's in here for freestyle. Oh boy, oh boy, oh, oh boy. Throwing it away. He's trying to heel clicker flip right there. That's oh, what it looked like. His knee just smashed him in the chest pretty hard. Taking a look at Stank Dog's first attempt. Take Stank Dog Looking. with a 360. Holy oh, smokes. Oh, oh, oh. That was that was cool. I didn't that think we'd cool. see that either. Not on a pit bike. Oh, holy crap! I don't know, but he slid off the face on his underflip. Over his sideways <laughs> rotated. Four and a half. We we took the, the judges consensus with Sipes. All right, so Joe Dirt. Oh boy, that's a lot of speed. Coming in super hot right here. Oh boy, oh, oh, off the She sends a is whip. Is he okay, is he in the water? So now it's round number two. All right, Pooh sides up, oh, with the vault. Doesn't quite get all the way around and back on the bike, but a solid attempt. 726 of Stank Dog lined up. That's two solid attempts on that. I mean, it's proper. I mean, he's completely flattened out, does a full rotation there. Stank, how did that last attempt go for you? Well, not as good as I had hoped. I had high expectations after the first one. I was pretty close. Second one, 
Wasn't as close. But I believe that's Kevlar that's on top of that. And ladies and gentlemen, that stuff may look soft, but it eats your skin up like a cheese grater. And the boys down below and the arm, they're not appreciating me right now. Here we go, a double flip. Oh, no. Was that Smalls just trying to set it right there? A double flip on a pit bike in this competition is pretty impressive. Almost had it. Dusty Weigel coming back in. There you go, the lazy boy flip. He came off of that thing so hard. It somehow, some way manages to pull that one around. So he's flipping through the numbers there. What's gonna be five and a half, a five and a half right there for Dusty. We've got Come Over Steve lined up to fill in for Corey Steed. A special ramp has come out for a front flip attempt. And uh, Steve doesn't have the best track record on these uh, front flips. Here we go again. Front. Oh, is it gonna make, oh! Yeah, oh! And then just gets tangled up in the bag, the but there you go. You went for it. I thought I had it. He's a human Gumby. But I think 9-5, come over with a 9-5. That's the leading score, plus he's the only one to go. So we can just end this thing now and say he wins. Because who's going to top that, really? I, I don't know. Wait, can we go ahead and do our best tricks? I'm ready to get the this over with. Oh, someone's nervous after seeing that one, Banksy. Right between what we thought and you thought. You no, okay? I had it. Banksy just decided to say screw it and just throw caution to the wind and go straight into the loop there, Piranha. He's looking pretty solid. Now, dare I say that let me maybe, maybe see them take the airbag out of the way, let him try to ride out of that thing if he gets another attempt at it here. I think that's the goal. Here he goes, attempt number two over the car drum, really building a lot of speed into that super kicker, just straight airing it. Get a nice good lineup. Here we go. Full commitment. And oh, oh that's that, that, that would have been a mix. Out. I mean, you want to talk about correcting the previous issues. I mean, that was perfect. It doesn't get any better. That was it. That was it. Yeah, you that. I smashed my elbow on that one. If that wasn't there, it would have been good, but I don't know. It was better to do it with him without it. So. <laughs> We've done this loop on big wheels, but no one has ever done it on a pit bike. It is a kid's toy. And uh, Banksy, he did a test run. Here he goes. He it, so here we go. Here so he is go. under power. Piranha, will this be the one he's going to flip into the bag this a time? A little over-rotated. That's not the best. Oh! Smashed. His face bounced. He broke his whole nose feet oh. in the summer. So I'm not sure that flip into the bag, Jimmy. It looks like he over-rotated a little bit, so he landed a little back tire heavy. That's not the best way to enter a loop, making a correction. He came up around, went not really wide, but maybe back into the rider's left and just took it all on the chin. We're going to the judges right now for the score of this run. I'm giving him a 10, <laughs> we're doing a flip, and for the amount of impact that he had on that slam. <laughs> Way to go, Banksy. Somebody had to do it. You stepped up, bud. <laughs> So Banks Hovey receives a 10 from Travis Pastrana here in the best trick competition for his backflip to loop attempt. He grabs that top spot and 14 points, followed by Corey Steed's proxy rider come over Steve in second. Small, Stank Dog, and Dusty Weigel round out our top five. After three events, it's Banks, Stank Dog, and Smalls out in front in the overall standings. On the team front, Twisted T Pit Viper remains on top, followed by teams A Shock and Black Rifle Coffee Company. When we come back, we've got Hubert Cross presented by A Shock Energy. We've got a team relay race in the mix, and we'll see how these riders handle the new Enduro style course out here at Pastrana Land. Welcome back everyone to Davidsonville, Maryland here for the Pastrana Land Pit Bike Championship. It is time now to kick off Hubert Cross presented by A-Shock Energy. And well, this first race, Piranha, this one's gonna be a relay race and they actually have to hand off the bike in the middle of the laps? Yes, yeah, so it's a six lap race. The first rider will complete three laps and they're gonna hand the bike off to their teammate who will complete the additional three laps. So it's a full on team tactics out here for this first race. Well, we have a tight points race going on right now in that team battle and some valuable points are up for grabs. Right now, we're gonna send it down to the mastermind of this course, Travis Pastrana, and the guy that put Travis's idea to reality, Hubert Rowland. We're here with the inventor of Hubert Cross, everyone's favorite redneck, Hubert Rowland. How did you come up with the design? Well, you basically tell me every year I make a hard track, and I knew you weren't riding this year, so I could make things that you really don't like, like logs and rocks, possibly bring in the loop from the nitro shows. 
We just make it hard and make it super entertaining for everyone else. If there was one person that you could take out during this first heat, who would it be? Well, you know the rivalry. I think it's a stank dog, you know, because he, you know, he is my buddy, but he also, you know, when we're on the track, we're enemies for sure. So, uh, stank dog, I'm going after you, but my head hurts, man. Don't hit me. I don't want to start anything, but you know, Troy was over there saying he's going to try and take you out. If if the track doesn't take him out and he's in front of me, you can guarantee our friendship's over. All right, we're going to get this going. Three, two, one. Go! There we go. Really off the start. All right, full speed into the first corner. It looks like Smalls. Oh, look at the front three wide. Who sides manual and over the first jump? Actually, oh no, someone didn't follow directions. Who forgot where he was going? So did Banksy. Looks like, yeah, Smalls, wow, almost takes out Lateri with that flip. So again, it's three laps here, and then you trade off with your teammate. We've got some tight grouping going on right now. You got Troy Smalls out of the lead, but Cody Cam's giving chase, but Lateri from Pliables, he's, a, he's making his case right now as well. Uh-oh, Smalls, big trouble. Uh oh everybody crashing. Look at Banksy. Banksy rolling through the wall. Oh, he got it. stuck at the end. There you go. White flag is out for our leaders right now. That means next lap they're going to pull off and trade bikes with their teammate. Hopefully some balls can hang on to that lead. Black rifle out front. Fly balls in second. Flipping every single lap. No worries. To nobody's surprise, not even one rider has thought about hitting that loop. Small still hanging on to that spot for the first half of the relay race for his team right now. Letary in second. Cody Cam slides back to that number three spot. Two Sipes giving chase in fourth right now. Once more into the logs for your leader. Oh, he goes down. No! Oh, you hate to see that. Small's leading the whole first half of the race. Goes down in the logs. All right, so this is where it gets super dicey right here. You have to switch up the bike with your teammate there. Here we go. So who do we got? Team Pliables, Team Pliables. Going that way, going that way, going that way, going that way. Trying to help these guys out a little bit. Smalls with the crash. Still bringing it into third place so far. Looks like a little bit of a bobble there from our race leaders, uh, Rogers and Mace. They go into the logs and they shouldn't have, which gives a lead back to Black Rifle Coffee. Oh, well, we got Team Black Rifle back in the lead. This is pretty impressive right now. Come on, Shake Dog, let's just up, Shake Dog, you bastard! All right, here we go. Black Rifle still in the lead. Now we got Team Pit Viper, Twisted T, Stank Dog. He's a contender out here. Look at the battle out front. Team Pit Viper versus Team Black Rifle. Here comes the best takeout move. Going in hot right there. Stank Dog to the lead. So it's Stank Dog making short work here in the second half of the relay race. Almost goes down, holds it up. A shot finally getting back in the mix. Power plus up there. Good battle for the podium right here. Barring any sort of a slip up, it looks like the Twisted T guys are going to come out on top on this one here at the A shock Energy Hubert Cross. Into the logs to see how he does. Perfect section. 551 puts a couple feet down, gets a little hung up. Dang Dog just stretches that lead out. Here we go, taking the checkered flag. Stank Dog, Team Pit Viper, Twisted T. Heel clicker, bring it back to 1998, ladies and gentlemen. Black Rifle, second place right here. Right up in there. Not a bad finish at all, with an extra two points, actually taking the most points for the event. Man, look at that, we got Power Plus taking it over A Shock. That is an impressive third place there. Stank, 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 we knew you were the one to watch out for. You killed it out there, first place in the team race. Oh, got to give it up to my teammate Banksy, man. He's on fire. We made a little mistake. He uh, hit the logs the first lap, even though we weren't supposed to. But that's OK. We came back for the win. What yeah. do you think? You and Team Black Rifles fill in, battling for over two laps on there. How'd you pull this one off? Oh, oh Pope, he better hope he don't try to break my leg like he did next time, because I will break his. You did three backflips, even though you didn't have to. 
awarding you guys two points. Team Black Rifle taking the most points because of second, and then the, the extra two points, most points for this event. How are you guys feeling about the event? I feel awesome. That was, I felt way better just actually going upside down and getting my brain straight. Yeah, you definitely. Upside down. <laughs> With two backflip bonus points, it's Team Black Rifle Coffee Company sneaking ahead of Twisted T Pit Viper in the Hubert Cross Team Relay. Power Plus edges out Team A Shock Energy for that third place spot. Still to come, we're going to put all the riders on the track at once, but this time they're going to find themselves with an extended course with a detour through the woods. We're about to take it up a notch. It's the final race here from the 2022 Pastrana Land Pit Bike Championships when we come back. The Pastrana Land Pit Bike Championship is sponsored by A-Shock, a modern performance energy drink created for today's active generation. Power Plus, power, when you need it, where you need it. And by Smirnoff Ice Smash, no filter, full flavor. Please drink responsibly. We're here with the inventor of Hubert Cross, everyone's favorite redneck, Hubert Rowland. What do you have for us in the second event? Second event is the full track. You go right out of the gate, all the way around, just like the first race, you go over the two super steep doubles into the S turn, S turns back out to ramp over the log pile or the loop, if you want to be brave. Logs into the woods, down through the sippy hole, through the high speed. Sippy hole. <laughs> through the high speed ski jumps, hang a left, through the big muddy ditch, back on 995 south, straight over the car jump, and right back into the finish line. Can't wait. All right, so here we go. Ishock Energy, Hubert Cross, round number two. This time, it's not about the teams, it's about the individuals. We put all 14 of them out there. Here we go, the riders are off full field, all 14 riders. We're seven wide going into turn one, mid-pack. Oh, Pit Viper, Twisted T Team takes each other out. Once again, mixing it up. It looks like Latiri's got another good hole shot. Got the lead for now. Yeah, that's a pretty full field. They're getting stacked up on those wall jumps. See if they start to space out here as we get into this first opening lap. All right, through the back bowl corner. Latiri still with the lead. Followed closely by, I believe that's Rogers. Black Rifle making up time in the logs. Here we go, Troy Smalls throwing up a few positions. It's magical, chewing through those logs like it's his job. The series still with a pretty good lead. No one behind him. Yeah, he's got a side of the lead right now. Here's the uphill, here we go, the tight part of the course. A 4.44, Corey Steed replacement rider coming in strong. All right, here we come, down the straightaway, back into the open area, and they're going for the big jump. One, two, three, four, five, they're all over it. Banksy jumping in the woods, coming over and dead last, the winner of the first event, dead last after lap one out here. Check out the separation here from Leteria from the rest of the pack. We'll see if he can hang on there. Is that Rogers still giving chase for that number two spot? Dog. I expect to see Stank Dog putting some moves on here. Well, that's David Wingate, the proxy that's in for Corey Steed, but Stank Dog making some moves here. Ooh, really trying to take Leteria out over the logs. He goes over the bar. And he does, and Stank Dog's yeah. out in front. A new leader, Stank Dog, the one we expected to see out in front, finally out in front. We'll see if there's no drama. He might be able to hold this off the next couple laps. Looked like Rogers was trying to challenge again for that number two spot. Stank Dog with a pretty good lead into the woods here as he goes around the corner into the tight single track area. Here we go, Stank Dog into the lead over the big jump coming in the infield. Terry's still giving, putting up a little bit of a fight right here, giving Stank Dog chase. We'll see what happens when we get down to these logs again. That has been the undoing for a couple of folks here in this race. Great battle out front. Stank Dog undefeated so far at any of the Pastrana Land events is leading this one. But I tell you what, Playa Bulls doing awesome, watching a huge gap in second. Team spurred off with Pope jumping in there. I'm a little disappointed, Jimmy. No one's gone for the loop yet. And we still have a couple more laps to go. We'll see I mean, if that thing comes into play. 14 feet tall and somewhat intimidating. I wouldn't be surprised if none of the riders opt for that loop. All right, 
And here comes your leader, Stank Dog, back over the car jump. Latiri and Wingate. One, two, three, still running the same order. No foot it can. Wow. Here we go. Magical and Cassie Boone's replacement rider taking the easy line around the jump. And Pooh Sipes is down. He is going to need to make up a lot of speed in order to make a comeback. Oh, Magical down hard. That is in his wheelhouse as well. Oh man, one of the ply bowls is out, but Frankie Latieri, your teammate, is actually in second place, running down Stank Dog. How you feeling? This one, I knew I could trust Frankie. He's been one of the fastest guys I know for the last 25 years. 100% I have faith in him. Oh, that's deep. Oh, oh. Watch out! Thanks, seeing Joe Dirt. You didn't expect to see Joe Dirt so far back in that field. Yeah, I'm kind of shocked. He must have got stacked up somewhere that we didn't see. But here you go. Thank you all coming in with a one-handed takeoff. Claiming it. Ladies and gentlemen, your unofficial winner, Jared Stank Dog Stanky. Looks like Wingate got second. But Terry with the goggles off, something must have happened back there. Yeah, he got washed out somewhere back there because him and Wingate were duking it out. And now he comes limping across that finish line. You had a chance to win that. How'd it go? My man wrecked my race. He squirreled out in the mud and I ran in the back of him. You took out the, the, the man going for the lead. Hey, man, I didn't know who was back there. I was just running. Three of the four laps, you don't even take your feet off a peg on the logs. And you you hit that thing better than anybody. And the last lap, you biffed it. Yeah, so I ended up actually crashing before that, getting the grip full of mud. No excuses, but it was a bit loosey-goosey, and I got squirrely also. But it was still a super fun race, and I'm happy to finish it, actually. just no, no, Seeing you and Troy, the trials guys, take these log obstacles like they were absolutely nothing was was nothing short of amazing. Coffee power, buddy. Black rifle. I'm pretty sure Cody Cam got third. This man right here. Pretty that, good ride. That was, a heck of, that was a heck of a comeback. No, seriously, like you, Cody Cam out there, that last lap, nobody came through. What happened in the back? Uh, well, the leader went down in the muddy spot over there, and I managed to get through there somehow and uh, just rode over here, but I was chasing Pooh the whole time, and I didn't realize everyone out there was chasing Pooh. He was a lap down, though, for some reason. <laughs> You've got the attitude, but you back it up. Man, I'm trying to three-peat here. That's only something that Travis would do. I've uh, been a big fan and looking up to Travis for a while, so it would be nice to three-peat here. And three-peat he does. It's Stank Dog, your overall 2022 Pastranaland Pit Bike Champion. He outscores both Banks Hovey as well as Troy Smalls Knoll. Stank Dog and Banksy take home enough total points, and that puts their Twisted T Pit Viper crew on top in the team challenge, finishing just ahead of Black Rifle Coffee Company and A Shock Energy. This year's A Shock Accelerator Award goes out to none other than Frankie Letary for an absolutely accelerating performance. Congratulations, Frankie. Well, that is officially a wrap on the 2022 Pastrana Land Pit Bike Championships. Definitely some uh, top notch action from top to bottom. Piranha, talk about some of your standouts of the event. Awesome, Jimmy. So the Viper Pit 2.0 proved to be a huge success. Riders really loved it. They even rode the event afterwards. Next up with a step up. We never expected to see those pit bikes go so high. Banksy absolutely sending it. And then when you get into freestyle, come over Steve coming out of nowhere with that front flip as a fill-in rider. Banksy sending it through the loop. But the uh, the racing there and the Huber Cross final with Stank Dog coming out on top, holy cow. He's never lost here. Every time he's raced this event, he's won. So that's a hell of a streak to keep going. Well, that is officially a wrap. And a big thanks once again to Travis Pastrana for hosting out here, Hubert Rowland for putting the track into action, and of course, A Shock Energy for taking these nightmares, if you will, and putting them all into reality. I'm Jimmy Coleman. That's Trevor Barana. We thank you guys for watching, as well as Jared Taylor and Travis Pastrana. And we send you out of Pastrana Land with the awards. I would like to call out Mr. Stank Dog and Mr. Banksy taking top team this year at the Pastrana Land Pit Bike Championship. <laughs> Now moving on to our best overall rider, America's favorite, Mr. Stank Dog. Yeah. Team Twisted T and Pit Viper. <laughs> Racing some kids' bikes, man. I hate loops. I think loops are a stupid idea. So I also hate 
uh, any kind of technical stuff, like why would you take trees and move them into the track? We usually, when they fall over, we move them out of the track. Whoever thought of this is going straight to freaking hell, assholes. I know you didn't know the rules, but you're at the house and that's just his <laughs> lifestyle. 20 push ups are saying they have any work. I'm Joe Gray, sorry. Oh, second place days. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Split Off Ice. We have now set the record for ices in a track walk and we have to postpone our actual race until tomorrow. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> you got something to say to me, you say it to my face, punk. Hi. Let's get ready to rumble. We got half the field already broken. We're only on event two, let's go. Come over, freaking crush it. Steed name, animal. I'm pumped. Legend. I hope you win. You won. He won. We won. Fourteen. Fifteen. He's worried. <laughs> <laughs> you one got more. one more. Sixteen. Yeah. Now say Chuck and Bunny. Lion Bowl's in the house. This probably isn't gonna work, but we'll see what. Oh! Oh, my oh no! He just broke our setup, and he's probably in the water. Oh, that was bad. The first victim of the day to end up in the drink is Mickey Mace. Oh my God, no! I said, just get in there, boys, get that thing out of there. So I just dove in and uh, pulled it out. He's not just my co-host. He's a man of action, and he goes right back up here. Sorry about the smell, Jimmy. That water's pretty bad. How's your math? Uh, I'm still figuring out how to score step up. I've, I've scored, I'm a motocrosser. I've never done step up, but we're figuring it out right now. All right, so the only thing that we know for sure is that Banksy won. He did a heel clicker. By a mile. By, by, yeah, like literally, I mean, in feet, not quite a mile, but really close. He was really <laughs> high. <laughs> oh, you don't got that good a grip, Greg. <laughs> I got a bear in my hand. <laughs> I've never seen a loop down a pit bike by anyone in the world. I have. Who? Uh, no one made it. <laughs> That's Nate. Metal, metal grinding, yeah. That's, That's a, a circle saw cutting wood. That's it. Sure right, right, circle saw cutting wood. Yeah. <laughs> Do something good. Hey, I, I like uh, I like all the filling riders. I like all the whips. I like the front flips, the back flips, uh, the drink flips. It, it's all great. <laughs> flips. Yeah. Cody Camp. What's up? Good game, clap. tail Big sticks. Clap for Can we get a camera cut with a clap? Perfect. Good tail stick marker <laughs> on a 50s.